bespoke line charts, a radio bar chart, and this is what it looks like. So a radio bar chart is essentially a variation of a traditional classic bar chart which has been bent around. The key behind this is that it's a visual representation. Typically speaking, if you have this type of data, one, you have to definitely label it. Two, really do consider using a bar chart or even a rounded bar chart. However, this is a very cool option and it's going to show us how to create bespoke data visualizations using the line mark type and to create these beautiful curves. So let's get started. Let's open up Tableau Desktop. So we'll start by loading our Superstore data set. Let's go to Microsoft Excel. Let's load this up. And let's take orders and bring that onto the query panel. With the data loaded, let's go to our sheet one and start building out our bespoke data visualization. The first step with data densification is to create our path. So let's go to ship mode. Let's type path if and only if ship mode is equal to first class then 1 else to 71. So we're going to draw three quarters of a circle. We could always adapt it and adjust this at any given time. Let's click OK. Now let's right click on path. Let's create our bins. So go to create. Select bins and type in one and press OK. Last but not least, we will create our index. So, create a new calculated field. Let's call this index and let's put in this index minus one. OK, beautiful. So, now we are going to build out our frame. So, let's create an X object. We're going to put sign, radians, and let's use index. Let's do this with Y. Let's create the complement. First cos, radians, index. So now let's build our basic frame. Let's take X onto columns. Let's take Y onto rows. Let's take path bin and drop this into rows. Right click and ensure that show missing values is selected. And drop this onto detail. Now what I want us to do is for our own learning and understanding. Let's turn this into a circle for now. Let's right click and edit the table calculation configuration by going to compute using and selecting path bin. And doing the same for the Y. So now we've built this following shape with circles as you can see. Now I want to change this to a line type. As you can see it's trying to draw or connect various points. However I want to take the path bin and put that onto path. Now we have a nice smooth line. The next thing I want us to do is take region and drop that onto color. As you can see we all have this in the same place. But that's fine, we are going to build on this very shortly. And we are going to now create the following. I'm going to call it TC order. And I'm just going to put index as a simple function. Let's click OK. Now let's modify our X and Y. Let's multiply this by TC order. Let's do the same for Y. And now let's right click, compute using and select path again. We're getting there, but don't worry, we're gonna build this up. Now let's click on X, right click, Go to edit table calculations. 
under TC order, I just want us to include region. Ah, you can see it's coming up now. Let's do the same for Y. Right click on the Y pill, go to edit table calculations. Underneath the nested calculation, so we have index, which is calculated using path bin. With the order, I just want to calculate it using the region only. Now we have multiple regions. The next step, now that we have our frame there, our next step is to bring our values to the forefront. So let's try that now. Let's create data that we can use based on our data set. Let's create a new calculated field. Let's call that TC cells. Here, let's type windows sum sum of cells and let's close that off. Let's click OK. Right click on the following. Let's duplicate that. Let's edit this. And all we're going to do is change the name. Nice and simple. Let's click OK. So now we have the cells value. We have the total cells. We are now going to create a TC percentage as we've done before. And that's just going to be TC cells divided by total cells. Now let's use that and apply that to our data set straight away. Let's edit the X. The index we are going to multiply by TC percentage. So we're going to shrink or increase depending on the percentage value. We are going to do the same with Y. Now it's gone blank because we've introduced a new table calculation, so we have to edit and modify. So let's just reset things by right clicking on X, selecting half bin. Let's do it on both sides. We get this squirrely shape as before, which is no worries. Let's right click on X and now let's edit. As we've done before, the order needs to be region. This time we have additional fields. Total cells, I want it to be path and region. Aha, uh -huh, it's getting there, isn't it? Let's do the same with Y. The total cells is path and region. And the order is just path. So as you can see, this is looking pretty good. However, these are all representing percentages. So what I want to do, however, is stretch this all the way to the end. So the whole 270 degrees. So what I'm going to do is create a new calculation, which I'm going to call TC percentage adjusted. So what are we going to do here? We are going to take the TC percent, so what is your percentage value, and then divide it by the maximum percentage value. So therefore, if you are west, then you will basically be 1, because your percentage will be the highest, and therefore you will take up the entire 270 degrees. Let's see this in action. So we've created this. Let's modify our X and Y objects. So we are now going to use the adjusted version. It's going to go a bit crazy, but that's fine. Let's do the same with Y. Let's use the adjusted version. Now we are going to have to modify this again. So let's go to edit table calculations. Percentage adjusted. Let's try that with the following as well. I'm going to switch off the show calculation assistance. But now you can see we have our values. This is kind of what we expect. The last thing I want to do is add an order. So let's right click on region. Let's go to sort. Let's sort this by a field. As we're working on cells, let's sort this by cells. And here we go. 
this is the basis of our radio bar chart. So let's finish this off. Let's rename this as radio bar chart. Let's increase the size. Let's make it a bit bigger. Let's go all the way. Let's get crazy. Now what I want to do is add a few more touches to this. I want to take region and drop it into label. I also want to take TC cells. And also I want percentage, not the adjusted, just the percentage. As you can see, we have the values there. That's okay. We are going to adjust this. So let's click on the label. Let's have the value show at line's end and remove the end. So it only shows at the start. The so line's end and the start. Let's modify our text. So I want the region to be able to have a bit of oomph to it. So let's see what 14 looks like. Tableau bold. And let's have. Let's leave the cells and percentage as it is for now. That's looking pretty good. Let's write a line. That's looking a lot better. I want to increase the font size a bit. Again, now we're just going into pure cosmetics. Okay, that's looking like it's getting there. I want to format the TC cells, the total cell value. I'm going to make that a currency, US, and let's make this one decimal place and let's show it by thousands. Perfect. Let's do the same for the TC percent. Let's click on that. Let's change this to a percentage sign and one decimal place. Beautiful. Now, the last things that we have to do is remove the header. Let's apply some formatting. So right click on the canvas, go to format. Let's get rid of the grid lines. Let's get rid of the zero lines. Axis ruler. And here we have it. Now for a final bit of fun, let's take order date and drop that into filter. Let's double click and select year. Let's leave it as 2020 for now. And I want to show this filter. I also no longer need the labels or the legends, so let's hide that. Let's go to formats, animations, and let's enable animations. I want it to be a bit slow, so I'm just curious what it will look like. Let's go to two seconds. And now I'm going to modify the quick filter by making that a single value list and let's move around that's a bit too slow let's make it one second let's try 2008 how about 2017 let's make it a lot faster let's make it fast now you don't get quite the same punch but in any case as you can see with we have built our data visualization. We've done this by drawing individual circular points, as you can see if you hover over each point. And we've connected them by using the line mark type with leveraging the path mark where we put our bin. For each of the points, because we've used our path or we set our path to 270, it means that we cover three quarters of the circle. We could always change this to half a circle or a quarter of a circle. We could do many different things with this. And then we've applied our calculations to our data to really get this effect that we want. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you've learned something. If you need to, do revisit this again and again. The main thing is making sure that you're happy, that you understand the basic concepts. And if so, let's move on to the next tutorial.